what's happening so in previous video we installed this chip m24 m02 rd into the radio and i call it 99 times 2 channel mode and some people complain that it does not work with IJV, it does not work with uh, reborn check this out i have this chip installed in this radio and it actually works I made it work so in this video we are going to dive a little bit deeper and explore why for some people it does not work and how I made it work this uh, we're not gonna do anything with our radio no modifications it's just explanation to the previous video so we are talking about this video the mode that we did in this video 99 times 2 channel mode that mode is still valid you can do it instructions are still good uh, everything's gonna work just uh, dry a few caveats so we're gonna go over them right now uh, basically the idea for this chip i actually got recommended this chip by people on fox's telegram channel i asked which chip is the top of the line and they actually gave me the link to aliexpress and i bought it and that's how the video on this mode came about and uh, for people on fox's telegram channel for some of them this mode actually works for others it did not work uh, work with some caveats but yesterday i spent like a day and i fixed it and i know what the problem is so let's describe the problem uh, when you first uh, soldier this chip in this particular chip right uh, and you install reborn firmware everything works fine but then when you press and hold the three key to switch to a channel from vf4 uh, you got zeros at first it works fine but then you get zeros like no frequency nothing and you cannot exit back uh, from that mode uh, by pressing 3 again you have to dial a frequency so channel mode does not work in VF4 that's uh, if in reborn firmware <clears throat> in IJV it is the same thing but if you first install when you first install the chip it seems to work fine but then you turn it on off and turn it back on it does not memorize anything uh, but if you install second time it just straight up doesn't work nothing is memorized you go change squilch you switch the channel and come back the squilch is uh, still zero so it does not work in IGB check this out it says this is most likely an incorrect robot with an M24 M02 chip it says you need M24 M02 A125, which has write byte 5 milliseconds. And the one that we installed, M24 M02 DR, is bad. Write byte is 10 milliseconds. IGV increased the recording speed to 5 milliseconds, which is why M02 M02 m24 m02 rd does not work correctly to record when the station is running so that's uh, igv's reasoning but i actually found something else so that's not the bright bite guys you have to follow me on this one close let me show you the code for reborn firmware i fixed it yesterday it works now so here it is this file is eprom c and we have this function eprom write buffer in function write buffer we have a delay system delay in milliseconds and we have the system delay variable which is defined so it's 10 it's defined as 10 milliseconds uh, so the delay is implemented so it's not about the write speed uh, I dug deeper uh, in uh, file VF42C, which is the file when you are in uh, this mode right here. You see it when you have two VF4s. That's inside that file, inside source code for this mode. 
So basically, uh, when you long hold the three key right here, it calls function radio toggle VFR VFOMR. And let's go to radio.c. We have this function here, radio toggle VFOMR. Basically, I traced it to radio, which one was it? Next channel. This function right here, radio next channel, that's a function that switches to next channel. And we, if we go to this uh, function over here, basically here was the line, the original line that caused the problem. Here this line calls another, calls another function, uh, channels existing, and it, this function checks if the channel exists. So let's go to that function, channels existing. So this is where the problem was. This function reads buffer from EEPROM and calls another function. Calls function is readable and uh, passes a buffer to it. And is readable basically uh, looks if the buffer has characters between 31 and 127. If it's between 31 and 127, that means uh, there is some valid characters. That means the channel is valid because it was recorded. And here is the problem. Here was uh, the problem for that we found here. Basically, uh, we, and I verified it with programmers. I used several different programmers. Uh, when you erase this uh, chip, this EPROM, it actually, it shows you as that it is erased, but when you read it, it gives you garbage. That's what it is. Maybe it has to do something with the uh, uh, read time, but as I showed you in the EPROM, that C, there is a delay, so I don't think that's that. But anyway, I fixed it yesterday, basically, in... Uh, in uh, file radio.c in function radio next channel this is the line of code that i added i just compare the radio frequency if the frequency is zero well it's 27 by default uh, if the frequency is default that means the channel is empty so now when you press and hold the three key oh, right here when you press and hold the three key it switches to a channel you see it switched to a channel before it was zeros so that line of code actually fixed it i don't know i'm gonna be looking uh, farther into this uh, i really want to see what kind of garbage it returns and this is actually makes sense because uh, like i said before when you first uh, solder this chip in and install reborn firmware it works perfectly same thing with igv i tried when you first uh, solder this chip in just install it install igv uh, nothing is broken why it works perfectly and why nothing is broken when you first install it because the chip is empty and once you begin writing to it uh, it fills up with garbage so that's the reason next logical step using a programmer erase the chip right make it empty i did that it returns zeros but when i installed the chip into radio i could not get the same results like when you install a brand new chip so that means the chip has some garbage left uh, you erase it yeah it erases it but it doesn't really erase it because uh, so that uh, prolong the chip's life maybe something to that to the tune of that but i don't know yeah guys i'm not a programmer i know c++ but not much c Plus, this is not my code, so don't expect much from me. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that if uh, 
guy that doesn't know how to code me, right, can fix reborn firmware in uh, one day. I'm pretty sure IJV can also make this chip work with the firmware. Uh, perhaps they have reasoning for it, but when I ask on uh, Fox's uh, Telegram channel, suggested they just laughed because uh, they know that this chip can work with firmware. You know, like when you spend uh, a lot of time just diagnosing something and it turns out to be just a uh, board capacitor and you find it, you flick it, well, it's just, just one capacitor, but uh, you spend like whole day looking for it. Well, yesterday I spent whole day fixing this firmware and the board firmware, so it now works. You can download it, I'm gonna give you a link, basically on Fox's Telegram channel. Uh, here it is in uh, reborn absurdity, reborn discussion. Here you go. I posted. The, if you just install it, it's gonna work. Uh, basically, this particular firmware uh, as for this chip and also the SI 4732. So if you bought this chip, don't sweat it. Uh, you did the right decision. I also bought this chip, and it works for me and on telegram channel it actually uh, worked for other people uh, but if you haven't bought this chip yet here is what you need this is site is called digikey but this also you're gonna find it on uh, farnell and mauser this is the chip that uh, we bought supposedly the bad one and this is the chip that you need, the one that is going to work with IGB firmware. Uh, M24M02-DWM3TP-K. And it cost only $4.06. Now, uh, for me, in Russia, it makes no sense to buy that chip because uh, it's expensive first of all and second of all uh, usually uh, if you find that it, it's gonna be fake uh, it's in here in russia it costs as much as one of these for me it makes sense to buy the chip that i bought uh, from uh, aliexpress this one right here m24 M02 DRMN 60P. It's highly available here and it is cheap and it works. Uh, but IGV, I guess Italians could fix it. Uh, what else? Uh, links to where to buy the proper chip, where to buy the wrong chip that I have working here, and to firmware that I modified yesterday you're gonna find that in description uh, the previous video this one right here it is valid use the instructions uh, I'm also gonna include links in this video's description but links you will find also in this video's description uh, basically these are the caveats uh, if you can, uh, if you have access to DigiKey, Farnell, Mauser, or even eBay, I checked it is available on eBay, but it could be fake on eBay. Uh, if you have access to those sites, if you are like in United States, Europe, maybe South America, Australia, uh, definitely buy that chip is uh, for another uh, four millisecond access time but for me this wrong wrong chip it works for me fine uh, i fixed the formula so it's fine here so this is going to be it guys uh, another video is coming up basically let me give you a preview you see it right here overview and install uh, we go on to our next video so if you like this short one Press a like, subscribe, I'm gonna see you next one.